currently lying on a beach in Mombasa and it is absolutely glorious. Just and I arrived in Nairobi a couple of days ago and we got a flight to Mombasa Airport. We had a driver pick us up and bring us to our hotel. The airport's in the north and we had to cross from the north to the south, which isn't as easy as it sounds. Um, we got really lucky because our flight was quite early and there was no traffic, but it can take hours due to the traffic. You have to get a ferry as well. But we were really lucky. We got here in less than two hours, didn't we, Jess? Mm. And it can take like four to six. I've just been like, <laughs> like so like not used to this heat since we've arrived. I had a migraine yesterday, but I was in the pool regardless. Today I feel like I've got had a headache. And every day I can wake up at 5 a.m. to see the sunrise, which is great. I'm not really going to vlog a few days here. We're here for five nights. I thought I'd show you the hotel and the resort and like all its facilities and things like that because it is a nice place to stay. But we're just literally relaxing. Like after Nairobi, I feel like we just needed it. We're waking up at like 4 30, 5 a.m. every day to like drive out to like different places or go to the Masai Mara and go on our game drives and things like that which you will have seen from my previous vlog. So we're literally just relaxing this week. There's not much like touristy things to do in the south of Mombasa where we are at the moment, which is Diani Beach. But in the north, there are a few bits, but <laughs> like one of the three places, a place called Lighthouse, where they serve street food, it's currently like under renovations. So that's like not really open at the moment. And the other two don't sound that great. So we're probably not gonna go there. We haven't decided yet. We're literally just like relaxing, hanging out by the beach, waking up early to see the sunrise. And it's just so nice, isn't it, Jess? Yep. I'll show you my view in a second. This beach, honestly, is one of the cleanest, nicest, like white sand beaches I've ever been to. The only thing that ruins it is you have people like constantly coming up to you trying to sell you stuff. We made friends with this couple last night who were saying that because they were quite clearly sunburned, this guy was trying to sell him like an aloe vera leaf for 10 US dollars. This is currently what I see right now. How beautiful is this beach? So yesterday was our first morning here and we had a sea view room. So I woke up to like the sound of the ocean, which was lovely, but I thought it was chucking it down in my half sleep state because it does rain quite heavily here and it's the same as Nairobi. Like it will rain like a ton for like 10, 15 minutes and then just stop forever. <laughs> so I woke up half asleep thinking it's chucking it down and ran into the bathroom, like splashed some water in my face, ran onto the balcony to go and collect our swimwear and realised that it wasn't actually rain, it was just the ocean and like all around us, there's like monkeys in the hotel and like birds and things like that. I don't know what the noise was, it was really funny. And so I ended up like watching the sunrise from like quarter to five, no quarter to six in the morning. So I'm gonna insert a time lapse of the sunrise here because it's just absolutely stunning. I know people say African sunsets are just incredible, but we haven't quite seen a sunset yet. We've just, ah, what is that? Flying, okay. I just, the one thing I don't like about Mombasa is there's just so many creepy crawlies and flies and there's like a high risk of like dengue fever here. So I'm like really paranoid about any sort of insect that's on me. Um, even though we are taking malaria tablets, we've had all of our jabs. But anyway, here's the time lapse of the sunset. It's just beautiful. It's just appeared under my sunbed. Is that what people eat? Well, they eat the legs, don't they?
we must have been in the sea for about two hours it was so nice like it was really nice and like cool but obviously it's like really hot and the sun's out even when it's overcast there's rays and like i have tanned so much it's borderline ridiculous like i look awful i absolutely hate getting a tan anyway we decided to miss lunch because this so basically like we're all inclusive we're staying at southern palms resort and i feel like most people just, that come here are all inclusive and they have like a buffet restaurant where you have breakfast lunch and dinner i'm getting so bored of the food like i am um, it was kind of the same at masai mara all inclusive and when you're vegetarian that literally just means indian food which is so heavy when it's like really hot and they have a pasta station where you can like choose your like you know vegetables and whatever and make your own pasta but it's not very nice so i've been getting super bored of the food loads of people sat here watching me vlog but um they also have like two other restaurants um in this hotel that you can like book there's a grill and there's an italian and you can like book either of those restaurants to have dinner you have to book before noon on the day that you want to eat so we've booked the italian for tonight the grill doesn't cater for vegetarians either which is a bit annoying but i think as of tomorrow we're gonna start like eating our like some meals out like we've, i've got loads of restaurant recommendations from ambassador there's one place in particular that so many people have told me to try so i'm definitely gonna try and get a table there tomorrow like when it's hot and humid you kind of want salads and you're not allowed to eat salads here either for 90 percent water so um they have a snack bar i don't really know what time it's open but we came here this time yesterday around about three o'clock and they serve like pizza chips and a few other bits so we missed lunch, we're just going to have a pizza to share now and then just see what we do afterwards. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the salad chips. because we spent another glorious like afternoon day by the beach in fact we were literally sat normally i much prefer pools to beaches because i feel like they're not really that clean i don't feel that safe like leaving my belongings behind because i always have this camera tripod my phone a book sunglasses whatever safe like leaving it quite far away when I go into the sea but because this beach is super clean super nice the people that sell stuff aren't allowed up where the sunbeds are it's pretty safe they're just like hotel people and so it's just so nice and relaxing I've almost finished reading the book that I bought with me and tonight I'm so excited because I'm putting makeup on for the first time in like I don't even know like a week <laughs> maybe more because we're going to we're going out for dinner. I'm so sick of the food in this hotel. I'm gonna start getting ready and not flash people down there. And I'll come back and explain where we're going because I'm super excited for tonight. I'm gonna to give you a really quick room tour just while it's relatively clean. I can't remember if I did this at the beginning of the video, but the bathroom's just in there. There's a double wardrobe with a safe and things here. We have a thing for our suitcase, this huge like dressing table desk area, a bed. The bed is so so not comfortable i feel like the mattress is super old the springs are broken so like when you're lying down we both because it is obviously massive we both kind of end up in the middle of the bed like really sunken down and the pillows are just awful really really not a fan of this bed at all then we have this like chair this is meant to be a footstool so i've just come out of the shower so i've put my towel on there for a second um but i kind of use it as a thing to sit on to get ready and that's our balcony this is where i filmed the um 
sunrise time lapse that first morning that we woke up because do you know what it gets really really windy here I think early in the morning and like kind of late afternoon early evening and I figured out what it is so when it's super windy the palm trees all move around like they are now and it sounds like heavy rain and that's why I thought it was chucking it down so as soon as I woke up one morning on our first morning here I woke up at like I think quarter to six in the morning thought oh my god it's chucking it down let me grab our swimwear which is just obviously drying down here and I thought let me just make sure it doesn't get wet and then I came out to see that it obviously wasn't raining and that was the view and that was the sunrise it was amazing our room's actually quite nice because this would be like your standard balcony but we have this extra little bit on the side as well for some weird reason so yeah it's pretty nice and it overlooks the restaurant on the right hand side I just thought I'd quickly show you the view so much more like myself now that I have makeup on and it's been far too long anyway so I just fell asleep on the bed and I felt all disorientated and my contact lens is really dry but we are heading out for dinner to a restaurant called Ali Barber's but it's spelt like barber as in the brand of jackets right and like barber coats I'd say about four different people have recommended this restaurant to me and one of my friends said the food's not amazing but like it's in a cave, so it's just a really cool place to check out. So our room is in that building over there facing the sea. This is like a bar area, like one of three bars that they have. And up there's like a little roof terrace. They have like a Italian restaurant up there. <laughs> but it's really weird because it's not actually a restaurant. They just set up tables and chairs there. And because everyone's all inclusive here, in case you get bored of like the buffet, which I definitely do, they have a grill restaurant, which isn't suitable for vegetarians. And they have an Italian restaurant. Last night I went to the Italian and it was like really, really weird, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> the, my vegetable lasagna was like amazing. It was so good to have something that wasn't Indian or just like regular pasta. Which is a really weird experience. We just, we just sat on a roof and just sat up like, yeah, four tables of like four couples. Mm. And they had, there was a dress code, but no one was dressed up. It was very weird. But now... I'm actually kind of hungry so I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. This is a grill restaurant so they have them on on like alternate nights. The Italian's closed today. Let me show you the grill. There we go. This is like the signature photo they have on all their social media. That's the grill restaurant. This is like one of the pools. It's very hard to see right now. And this behind this huge tree is like the back end of this massive buffet restaurant they have. I'm so glad not to be dining in there tonight. So this is the um, main bar that they have which is right by reception area down there. There's like loads of seating areas around here with a fifth swivel year round. That's the entrance to the main restaurant. What's really cool about this restaurant is they offer. Yes, that's yes, right. right yeah. They offer a complimentary taxi ride to the restaurant, like from from anywhere in Diani Beach. Shepherd's pie was so good, but I couldn't even eat like oh, so full. <laughs> couldn't even eat like a third of it. I gave Jess like this much, a third, and uh, I don't know. It's just too hot to eat. Does anyone else like me? And they just can't eat like when it's really hot. I need like 59 million 764 drinks. I just can't eat. There's a remainder of my that looks delicious. My name is uh, I'll destroy it, but I couldn't finish it. Hmm? I ain't too much. What's that? I ain't too much. Me too. I'm a massive food coma. Dinner was so good, but oh my god, it was like a freaking sauna in there, wasn't it, Jas? Yep. We had to ask to like move tables because there were like fans, but they kind of were like on every table but not facing down to the table, so they're kind of 
facing away from us. Anyway, the restaurant was really good, kind of pricey, but they describe it as fine dining. I wouldn't call it fine dining. It was just a really cool atmosphere. Like it's an ancient coral cave that you're dining in. That was pretty cool. There are no stars in the sky or anything like that. So I was a bit like, is that the sky? Is that upstairs? I wasn't quite sure, but it was the sky. It was a really cool place. And it's the first time in Kenya, like on this whole trip, that I've had a nice cocktail. Everyone just puts far too much alcohol in cocktails here and you're not meant to taste the alcohol. It wasn't very, like it's not very nice. They had like a drink at the Venetian, which is a Lebanese and sushi restaurant in Nairobi. That wasn't very nice. I had an apple martini there that was awful. All the drinks in this hotel, like I haven't been drinking alcohol because they're all gross. Like there's just, far too much alcohol in them. Glasses been on the pina coladas, I tried them, but they're just, oh, not a fan at all. I don't even like the beer here, so I've literally just been drinking Fanta and Coke Zero and water, and that's it. Anyway, it's like almost 10 p.m. and it is far too late for me. I was yawning when we got to the restaurant, actually, because I've been going to bed super early, like at between eight and nine o'clock and waking up at five to see the sunrise every morning. So I'm gonna go to bed. This morning we missed it. Hopefully tomorrow we catch it because I wanna try and shoot some like really cool photos that I haven't done yet. So yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow. We made it down to the beach. I'm gonna say down to the beach, it was like five steps. It's about 6 a.m. this morning. We kind of missed the sunrise, but that's fine. I wanted to take some nice photos. So hopefully we've done that. Man, I can't stop yawning. Um, we checked out of our hotel this morning. It's really weird. Our checkout time was 10 a.m. and they wouldn't extend it at all, even though we like emailed them when we first booked it to see if we could get like a bit of a later checkout. Because our flight back to Nairobi is until 10 p.m., so we have essentially 12 hours to kill. But we actually have to leave for the airport at 4:30 because of all the roadworks and the stuff that's taking place in the ferry, like ferry works, I think. And there's always traffic in Kenya. Um, so we asked our hotel to see if we could get like to a shopping centre nearby and they kept naming a few of them but one that kept popping up was Diani Beach Shopping Centre so we thought you know what let's check it out we don't want to do any shopping or anything which would like be nice to wander around somewhere with a bit of aircon and this is where we ended up this is like even more hot than just sitting by the pool in the hotel to be honest so this is the shopping centre it's essentially like a retail park and all of these shops have all their fans and lights turned off until like a customer walks in so it's like super boiling hot in there but we have just been to this little cafe which is really nice and cool and had like a ton of water which is exactly what we needed and we've still got about three or four hours to kill our hotel is really annoying because once you check out of your room sorry if i look really sweaty there's actually like nowhere to sit with air conditioning like only like their bedrooms have air conditioning and the public toilets and there's just so many like insects and like flies and just creepy crawlies and beetles that stick to you especially if you're wearing like sun cream which is what we are we're constantly like flicking them off our arms it's absolutely disgusting and um, if you sit in the shade so we're just gonna like have a little wander around get to tuk tuk to what's it called nomad restaurant it's a beach bar somewhere like not far from here and hopefully get some lunch. I'm here do sushi here which I'm just, oh, I'm just dying for sushi or just anything that's like, I don't know, just a bit tasty. Not that I'm hungry yet and then we'll head back to our hotel and leave. But first we've just spotted like a little street seller around the corner so we're going to go check out what they're selling there. So the Maasai market is always better than like the shops because they like bump up the prices so much here and like they kind of have fixed prices on like the price tags but you still have to haggle and unless you want two or three things it's just not worth it to be honest so yeah let's see if we can take off any more christmas presents off our list jess yep yeah it's nice in the shade actually
Oh my god, this is the platter of my dreams. Like avo, cucumber, mango, carrot, sushi, the ginger, mayo, whatever, I can never put that. Look at it, Jess. Yeah, of course. I'm dying for this. Yesterday was such a long day. We flew back from Mombasa to Nairobi and we're currently at my aunt's house here for one day before we go back to London. But it was such a long day yesterday. The heat in Mombasa just kills you. And as soon as we got to the airport, like it's really quick because it's a domestic airport and we had to leave at 4.30. So we were like four hours too early, well two hours too early for our flight. But luckily they put us on the wait list for an earlier flight. So we managed to like arrive an hour earlier so we got back at like 11 p.m as opposed to midnight which was still good but we were just so hot and sweaty like the airport in Mombasa is awful there's no air conditioning like it's just so hot everywhere Kenya Airways is like the worst airline like as soon as they like take off or shut the doors they blast this heat and everyone's hands shot up trying to work out how to stop the heat from coming out and everyone was complaining and it's been, been like that on all three of our flights that we've had with them so far so i'm really not looking forward to an eight hour flight home with them tomorrow i'm never going to fly with them again they're a complete nightmare i said to my friend actually that lives here and she lives in london but she's from here and she flies back very often she was like kenya airways is the worst like virgin used to operate that route from nairobi to london they no longer do that and my grand was saying the same and obviously virgin like tons better anyway i'm going to end this vlog here we had a great time in Mombasa, just chilling like look at how tanned i am like my makeup just does not match my skin anymore i'm not even wearing foundation just a bit of concealer but yeah southern palms was like a nice place i don't think it was the best i can't remember how much we paid it was ages ago but i'd probably give it like a three out of five would you yeah for southern palms one more three out of three, no like the waiters and the waitresses were all really really nice food was just so boring and especially for vegetarian reception staff were terrible yeah, yeah, <laughs> so aggy wi-fi does not work throughout the whole hotel like you have to be in reception <coughs> they don't understand what, well the whole of africa doesn't understand veganism i had a chat with this other lady from london who was like oh are you also vegan she saw my oat milk i was like no the chef was really nice though he did promise me he'd get me soy milk for the next day and he did um but that was unfortunately our last day yeah for a week later <laughs> yeah because it was it wasn't around for like a week wi-fi does not work in the cv rooms at all you have to literally be in the reception area and once you check out their checkout time is 10 a.m which i think is absolutely ridiculous once you check out i mean you could use the pool and all the facilities but they don't have changing rooms so you wouldn't be able to get changed if you have a late flight like us you don't want to be like walking around in your swimwear like for the rest of the day they don't have air conditioning anywhere apart from the public toilets by both bars which i think is ridiculous even reception doesn't have any fans it just wasn't really the best hotel to be honest it was great because it's on a really nice stretch of diani beach and people were saying to us that other hotels that are just as nice don't have a nice part of the beach where they are so we got really lucky we spent a lot of time at the beach hence like my sunburnt nose but anyway that's all I have to say. We had a really great few days away. We've still got to today, which was just spending with family and my grandparents because they're still in Kenya. And then we're leaving tomorrow morning. So I'm going to end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.